Let's go under the microscope where the conversation for best players still starts and ends with Mike Trout, right? Right? No, we all know the answer. I'm just trying to stir the pot. He's been so accustomed to finishing the top three in the MVP voting. Last season's fifth place finish was a shock to our system, or at least for many of us. His lowest previous finish was 2017, finished fourth, missing nearly two months with an injury that year. But boy, he's so good. He joined Barry Bonds as the only players to finish in the top two in MVP voting in five straight seasons. Mike Trout is the betting favorite to win the AL MVP at 2-1. to one. It's not even close. Alex Bregman, Aaron Judge far behind. If he does win it again, it'll be his fourth award for the eight-time All-Star. Trout also tied for the best odds with Joey Gallo and Pete Alonso to lead all home run hitters this year, according to William Hill. All right, let's bring in Will Middlebrooks, World Series champion with a game of Take Your Pick. So let's talk about Mike Trout here, the lead-in, obviously, here. Uh, Will, best bet for the next Mike Trout. What kind of conversation or best bet are you put in there? Yeah, the whole conversation about is Mike Trout still the guy? Absolutely. Are we just getting completely bored of his excellence at this point? He's got a 74 war in his career already. That's better than first ballot Hall of Famer Derek Jeter ever heard of him. He's pretty special. And he, if he has a two, hits 281 with 17 homers in 53 games, and man, he's on a decline, that means he's pretty good. If he plays out that hole up 162 last year, he probably hits 50 homers, probably gets his average back up to around 300, and we're not even having this discussion. If anyone's ever going to get close to being the next best player in baseball, they're going to have to put a lot more numbers on the back of their baseball card. But the conversation of face of the game, face of baseball, that conversation can be had. It, that There could be a changing in the guard of that. Mike Trout has been the face of baseball because of simply how good he is, not because of the off the field, magazines, commercials. It's not his thing. He doesn't want to be the face of baseball. You got a guy like Fernando Tatis Jr., uh, Juan Soto. I, I lean toward Tatis Jr. becoming the new face of the game. Now, he's only played 143 games total. I get it. He hadn't played a full season yet. But the hair, the sweatbands, the swag, it's easily imitated by kids in the backyard, in the street. That's what the game needs to grow right now. I think in the next couple of years, we see a changing of the guard of the face of the game. But as far as best player in baseball, Mike Trout's going to hold that down for the next 10 years. Yeah, well, we've seen Tatis Jr., by the way, get some of those marketability-type opportunities already. Hopefully that injury, of course, is going to be good for him. And the Padres, of course, expected to at least uh, get that wild card spot, if not try to keep up with the Dodgers in the NL West. All right, so next take your pick topic is better transplant. George Springer with his new team in Toronto or Nolan Arenado in St. Louis. Will, take your pick. That's a tough one. I think they, they both have really good years. Now, they both have had awful spring trainings, which doesn't necessarily mean much. But with George Springer, he, he, he pulled his oblique. So that could be an issue. We don't know if he'll be ready for opening day, uh, but they don't expect him to be out too much longer. Arnado hit 222 with zero homers in 18 games in spring training. I don't look too much into that. It's spring training. He could be working on something, getting his work in. I think he's going to be just fine. But the better year, I lean towards George Springer for, for the reason of where he's playing. Dunedin, Florida for the first, at least the first month of the season, the ball absolutely jumps. The wind blows dead out to center field more times than none. And then he moves to the Rogers Center, hopefully, uh, hopefully in May up in Toronto. Ball absolutely flies there as well. You see a beach ball. You see the ball really well. I love playing there. So I think that gives him the advantage. He's got a fun star-studded lineup. There's going to be tons of guys on base for him for RBI opportunities. George Springer has a bigger year. All right, so this next one has a bit of a caveat because it could change uh, in the next 24 hours or so. But better in a contract year, Freddie Freeman or Francisco Lindor? Yeah, we're getting close to that deadline that, that Lindor set for his extension. What was it, $325 million and he's not too sure about it? <laughs> that's, that's a good Must position be nice. to be in. Yeah. Must be real nice. I'm actually going to go with Freddie Freeman in this. I think we expect another MVP cal uh, caliber year, 300, 30, 100. I feel like you can book that. He doesn't have the pressure on him that Lindor has to carry that team. He's come in, he, he's everyone's saying he's the face of the franchise already and he hadn't played a regular season game yet. That's a lot of pressure, especially with the contract and all that's going on. They say, oh, I don't think about it. It's not a big deal. It's a very big deal when we're talking 300 plus million dollars. So Freddie Freeman goes off this year again he has so much talent around him there's not pressure on him Acuna Albies 
Ozuna, all these guys surrounding him in the lineup on base for him, takes the pressure off. He goes off again. Yeah, Lindor saying no to 325. He wants 375, and everybody go at Steve Cohen. I think he's got that in his couch cushions, whatever type of uh, leather, pleather <laughs> couch he might have at any one of his places there, Will. All right, so let's move to a, uh, when we talk about contract year, to maybe a walk year, specifically in the shortstop position. Tavi Baez and Corey, don't call me Kyle Seeger. Take your pick here. I'm, I've been on the, uh, the Seeger train for the past year and a half. All right, last year he hit 307 uh, in the shortened season with 15 homers. Everybody's thinking, okay, he's, he, he was hot. He did well. He got hot. Well, the postseason came along, 328, eight homers, MVP of the World Series. All right, he just had a good year, right? Well, we'll don't look now, but in spring training, he's hitting 347 with eight homers. This kid's not hot. He's just really good. And Javi Baez has a lot to worry about right now. He was arguably one of the worst hitters for everyday position players last year. He had 203. He had seven walks to 75 strikeouts. Not a good combination. Uh, and then now you got to worry about the, is he going to be traded in a contract year? If the Cubs don't do well, they, they I, I know they tried, they're trying to extend Rizzo, uh, but we haven't heard any talks about Baez or Bryant. Jock Peterson's on a one-year deal. He's playing well. We could see a lot of Cubs get traded at the deadline if they're not in the mix for for the division. So that's something else Bias has to worry about. And players, once again, will tell you, we don't think about this. We don't care. That's a lie. Players think about it when your family and yourself have to move around the country, find new places to live, and find a new team. This next topic, by the way, Yankees fans, don't come at Will. He didn't come up with the topic. He's just analyzing what we're talking about here. It is the Yankee more likely to finish the season on the IL. Stanton? or judge that is dark Tommy but we'll go with it all right we'll blame that on Brian Tully all right I'm gonna I'm I trust Aaron Judge more here uh I mean the caveat with the Yankees is health 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 they're gonna be hurt I get that uh but I'm gonna go with Judge he's three years younger he's 28 they have a full year of Eric Cressy uh under their belt that's their new strength and conditioning coordinator over there in New York I worked with him closely here in Palm Beach Gardens. He trains guys. A lot of big leaguers come to him and have a lot of success post-injury. So the Yankees brought him on. I think that's a huge addition. And honestly, I think Aaron Judge is my AL MVP. So there's that. Will Middlebrook's getting us ready for opening day. Will, certainly appreciate it. We'll be looking forward to your coverage all season long. Thanks, bud. Thanks, Tommy. Check out the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast. Will's been a part of that during the offseason of the guys' breakdown. It is fantasy season. I'm so close. I need to pick a fantasy league. Do it. Download and follow them today. We know, though, fantasy baseball grind. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.